Okay, so we're going to continue. Um, in here, we are going to put down um, set game started to 1. Okay, so have you noticed something? We'll go back to um, this sprite. Here it says repeat until game started equals 1. But in this script, it sets game started to 1 if it's clicked. So this can move on. So what this is saying is when this is clicked, this stops being animated and moves on. So that's what this block does. Um, so you click it and it starts the game by setting game started to 1. Okay. We are now going to press, uh, we're going to right click um, this sprite and click duplicate. And we're just going to go into this one and change the text to info. So this is the other block. We can get rid of the wait until and the set because we don't need them. And we are just going to make this minus 50. So if we just click, look, it's just there. Actually, I'm going to make it minus 60 because I want them to be separate blocks. And they're, they're there, and um, they're two separate blocks. OK, um, next step. We are going to make this one, when you click it, um, it's going to give you the information that it gave you in the other one. So we are going to need another repeat until block. So repeat until game started equals 1. So that's kind of like saying repeat until this block is clicked. And then we're going to put in an if block. So if, and we're going to use the same formula that we used for this one. So we're going to drag in an and, touching mouse pointer, mouse down. Okay. Um, and we're going to um, go into looks, drag out the say hello block. So not the say hello for two seconds, just the say hello. And we're going to put in um, um, steer the car with the mouse. Try to avoid the cars. Um, and and don't touch the grass. So this is essentially just telling the user what to do, how to play the game. Um, and we are going to put a wait until block in. So here. So it's going to stop all of the scripts until this is satisfied. Key space pressed. So it's going to wait until the key space is pressed. And then we're going to drag in say hello again, and we're just going to press backspace, and that stops it from saying anything. So if we go through the script, it says, if I'm clicked, say this, and then wait until space is pressed, and when space is pressed, then stop saying it. OK. Um, now we're going to make the background. Um, I should have probably done this at the start, but it doesn't matter. Um, stage. Uh, backgrounds, edit, and just make it any colour you like. I'm just going to make it a shade of blue again because I have a blue theme going on here. That looks nice. As you can see, this is a bit more professional than the other things we've made. We're trying to make it look nice as well as run. So if you ever went into the future of game creating, this is what you'd have to do. You'd have to make your product look nice as well as just doing what it's supposed to do. So if we run it so far, you can see that that does its thing. If we click this, it gives us a message, and when we press space, it stops saying it. So we've got that finished. So we've basically finished the menu. OK, so now we are going to make it so all of these hide, because we want them to hide when the game has started, because game started when game game started equals 1, it means that the game has started. 
So repeat until the game has started to the animation. Um, then, when the game has actually started, you want to hide. Because we don't want these still here. So we're going to make this one hide as well. And we want this one to hide as well. So if we run it now, yep, we can learn how to play the game and we press it. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to make the second background. We are going to make the game background. So you remember the street that the car was going down. So, um, I just did copy there and edit, and I'm going to make the screen white to start with. Go to the rectangle tool, pick a shade of green, um, this one, and I'm just going to go to the top left corner um, here, drag across, and make some grass here. Then, when I'm satisfied, use the stamp tool, go to one of the corners um, over here, drag across, and look, it's copied it and um, moved it to our mouse. So now we want grass on the other side. So make it so it's perfectly aligned. And when you're satisfied, uh, press I'll click and you have two sides of grass. Now use the fill tool and pick one of the shades of grey. Doesn't really matter which. I think the best shade is the very light one. Um, actually the second to lightest one. I think that looks nice. I think that looks kind of like a road. Okay. So we're actually going to make a script for the stage as well. So when green flag clicked, switch to background 1, because we always want it to start on our menu screen. But then we're going to put in a wait until script. Um, and we are going to say, wait until the game started, and then switch to background 2. So when the game has started, ooh, oh, I forgot to make these show. That's not really a big error. Um, all we need to do is drag in um, show at the front of all of these. Because um, by default, um, you, you have to tell the game to make stuff reappear. Because if it's hiding, it's not going to automatically make it appear on the screen. You have to say, when the, when the green flag is clicked, always show. Um, so, look, we've got our grassy field. Not grassy field, road. Okay.